Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm a man of God. I welcome you on this channel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Family, the Lord says there is greatness in the inside of you. Don't ever settle for less. There is greatness in the inside of you. Don't settle for less. There's a scripture that came to my spirit the moment the Lord said that to me. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says, According as his divine power had given us all things that pertained unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us unto glory and virtue. God has called us unto glory and virtue. Virtue is power. Glory. These are the things that are deposited in you from the foundations of the world. Now, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the stage of your life that you are in. But one thing the devil wants you to do is to doubt your potentials in Christ Jesus. The devil wants you to make you believe that you are insufficient. That you are insufficient. Now, every time you encounter a challenge and you encounter a problem, look within yourself. The answer is always within you. When Adam was alone, the Bible says in the Garden of Eden, there was no suitable helper found for him. God caused him to go into a deep sleep and God removed his rib to create Eve. Would you want to know why? Because the answer is always in you. There's somebody the Lord is saying, I should tell you right now, that the answer stays within you. There's greatness in the inside of you. Don't get to a point where you underestimate yourself and you underestimate the purposes of God over your life and underestimate the things that God can do through you. There is greatness, enormous greatness. There is an answer that lays within you, waiting for it to be discovered. I want to pray that God will help you discover your uniqueness and your potentials this season. I want to pray that God will help you find out the virtues that have been deposited in you. There was a guy called Gideon. He was threshing wheat in a, in a wine press to hide it from the Midianites. Because the Midianites had attacked them in the book of Judges. The Bible says that this guy, in one of the days when he was walking, had an angel, appeared to him. And the angel calls him a mighty man of valor. And he doubts himself. He says, who are you talking to? Is it me? I am from the least tribe of Israel. I'm from the last in my father's house. He gave all the reasons why he thought that he was not good enough. Now, I don't know the situation that has made you feel not good enough. Maybe you have been connected to somebody who makes you feel like you're not good enough. And whatever you're doing, there's somebody, more, there's somebody out there that can do better for them. Just demoralize you and break down your morals. Or probably the situation around your life has made you feel like it's not, you're not good enough. Arise. Put on your strength. Tell yourself. The answer is within you. See, God expects you to believe in yourself. God expects you to believe in yourself. Even as much as you believe in Him. God expects you to believe that you can make it. Believe you will go through the storm. Believe you will see a brighter day. Believe. I pray in the name of Jesus that God is going to help you go through this season of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.